What's up guys, Raiho here, uh, yet again. And, um, I want to talk about something a little bit different. Um, the horror genre. Um, and that's a documentary I saw the, uh, last night, um, by the name of Fantastic Flesh, The Art of Makeup Effects. Um, really neat little, uh, documentary, um, for, forewarning though, it is not just about horror effects, although they're the main thing they talk about in the movie, of course, um, because that's where, you know, they've showcased, um, a lot of special effects, um, but they do talk about, like, the Narnia movies, um, Dances with Wolves is in there, oddly enough, which is kind of an interesting little piece, um, I'm trying to think what else was in there that wasn't, Transformers and The Island, I think both come up in it, um, but, uh, Essentially, it's it's not really a history of it's weird. It's not really a history of special effects makeup, and it's also not really um, they don't really sit down and go over specific makeup effects for like every movie they talk about. It's basically they talk about some of the 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 best I guess movies with special effects in them, and they might exchange some stories about them. Um, uh, about maybe one little piece, one little aspect. Um, they talk about some of the big, you know, the greats in special effects makeup. Um, and they, so they do give a brief history of it, but, um, I mean, it's only about an hour long uh, in length, so they can't, you know, put everything in there. Um, but it, it's really interesting little documentary. Um, mostly, I would say, they talk to um, Greg Nicotero and Howard Berger from KMB. Um, but I think that's because it was, um, uh, I'm trying to think, I think it was, I think Greg Nicotero was the uh, executive producer on it, um, but um, you know they talk. Like I said, they talk about the island uh, Transformers, mostly the island because they they talk about these um, pup, huge puppets they did for it and stuff like that. Um, Transformers as well. They talk about sort of mixing um, the puppeteering stuff um, with the robot frenzy um, and with the CG and that. Um, they talk about the mist, which is kind of cool because they do they do sort of touch on CG and I think. There's some people there that say that, like, I think Frank Darabont's on there. He says that he likes a lot of CG in that. He thinks he can push the envelope more with it, so that's why he used a lot in that film. But then they talk about some of the puppets they use for it as well. Um, but, yeah, they go back and they talk about, like, uh, Lon Chaney, um, Jack Pierce, um, as some of the pioneers of the art. And they talk about Frankenstein and some different movies like that. Um, um, Fan of the Opera and that sort of thing. Um, and then they, they get to, like, Tom Savini, and they talk, like, Day of the Dead and Dawn of the Dead. Um, uh, they also do, um, some John Chambers stuff, who I didn't really know who he was before this, but he did, like, Planet of the Apes. Um, uh, I'm trying to think. And then, they, of course, they get into a big section on Dick Smith, who's sort of, like, the grandfather of, you know, for a lot of these guys that taught them a lot of the tricks that he uses. Um, I know that Tom Savini talks about it specifically, and they talk about some of his movies like The Exorcist, and it's pretty cool. They actually talk about the old age makeup he used on um, uh, Max von Sydow in that film, because I guess when he did that movie, he was only like just 40, and he makes himself look so old in it um, that for a while he had a hard time getting work, so people thought he was an old man uh, because the old age. I think they even say like there's only been two times in cinema that old age makeup has actually worked out, and it was both times Dick Smith, once on The Exorcist, and then once on. Um, Amadeus, um, F. Murray Abraham in that film, who I don't even think holds a candle to the old age makeup that was done on, uh, Max von Sydow and The Exorcist, but, anyway, um, but yeah, they talk, they talk uh, about Rick Baker for a bit, and his work on the new Planet of the Apes, and they have a story with John Landis about American Werewolf in London, and Joe Dante doing the howling at the same time, and the transformation of werewolves, um, they get into Rob Bottin and his work on The Thing, and they talk about how it's like this opus of, you know, um, special effects work, um, and then eventually they get into like Quentin Tarantino and Robert Rodriguez talking about Grindhouse and some of the stuff that um, KMB did for that. And um, they have a really cool story from um, Death Proof in there about how there's this whole sec sequence that uh, Quentin Tarantino, even though he didn't want to, thought he was going to have to do in CG, and KMB did it all in practical effects. So yeah, like like uh, I would say, like it's like I said, it's not quite a history of you know, special effects makeup, although they do touch on some of the, um, uh, the background of it, and it's not quite, like, I'd hope they would sit down and show bit by bit how they did these certain special effects and how they do certain things, but it's not really they give out the secrets of that, um, they more so, like, they, they talk a little bit about some of the stuff they did, 
um, and they, they, they highlight specific points. Like they talk about Narnia, I think I said before, um, how KMB did the work on that because I think Weta was doing something else at the time and, um, and you know, how big of a task it was to make, you know, all these tons of actors into makeup and um, then they go into, you know, Rob Bottin and the head that, you know, slowly falls off the guy and grows legs and stuff like that. They do some really cool little, um, just little, just sort of guys talking about tricks of the trade and that, I guess. Uh, but um, some people they talk to in it, Frank Darabont, Greg Nicotero, Howard Berger, Tom Savini, John Landis, Quentin Tarantino, Robert Rodriguez, Shannon Shea, who did the special effects on The Mist and Dances with Wolves. Um, uh, Simon Pegg, uh, Mick Garris, George Romero, Eli Roth, Joe Pilato, Jordan Ladd, Dick Smith, Wes Craven, Eileen Dietz. Um, she pretty much played like she played Reagan in The Exorcist whenever the bad ship was going down. <laughs> um, I think I can't remember what she was credited in that movie as. I looked it up. Pazuzu's face or something like that, something weird like that. But um, um, John Carpenter, Joe Dante, Rob Bottin, D. Wallace, Josh Brolin and um, Andy Schoenberg, who did special effects on Grindhouse. So it, it's got a lot of different people in there that are interesting to see. A lot of people are kind of like, why are they in there? But it's basically to talk about bits that they you know, might have um, done in their movies and things like that. Um, but yeah, I, just, I thought it was kind of a neat little thing. Like, it's like, like an hour long. Um, you know, if you're renting a movie and you want to get something on the side of it, you could grab this too. Um, and um, yeah, you might enjoy it. It was kind of cool. Um, but yeah, I guess that's all I have to say on it. Um, if you're interested in this sort of thing, it might be something to check out. Uh, if not, then, you know, pass it by. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my little video here, um, as always. And I uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. And uh, yeah, I will talk to you later. So, peace.